Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys is doing absolutely great today. I want to share with you how to make this church conference program flyer design. Before jumping into this, let's check the intro. Take up graphics skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah good evening guys welcome back to deco Graphy design training hope you guys have been absolutely great this evening i want to show us how we can make a church flyer on our android smartphone using our pc lab as usual, there is more to learn here. As usual, there is more to learn here, as I said. Because there is one particular trick which I want to show you guys. So without further talk, let's continue. The first thing is to determine our size, background size, which is 120 by 120. Then we we'll go directly to our gallery and import the background we want to use. So I want to use this background, then you go to our ship and bring out another background that we are going to position here. So after doing this, the next thing we are going to do is to change the color of the background to black. Then we we'll go to our opacity and reduce the opacity to something like uh, 70. Let's use 70. Let's use 70. Or let's use... Um, exactly 70 then we have it locked so we are going to use another go to our ship right now as you can see so here we are going to use a gradient where we have a, one will be black exactly like this then the second one will have to be transparent exactly like this as you can see so we we'll make the second one to be transparent like this then we click ok now you see what we have so what we are going to do right now we are going to turn it so let the transparent be closed like this so after that we have something like this so we click ok then we are going to turn it upside down so we have this at the end of the day so we can have something like this then we'll go to editing and re-edit so that transparent so where we have something like this we we'll have something like this so let's check so it should be okay like this so it shouldn't show very good the essence is we want the background uh, the one at the bottom to look like a the fire to be showing there so we can still move it we can still move it down we can move it while we move this so what we can do right now is to go to our gallery again and bring it this then we have it being positioned here so we can move it we'll move it to this particular area we change to background we change it to black so very good so now we can now position this we can position this on top of that so we will have this something like this then uh, at the end of the day we have this again very good so the one at the top which is this has to be positioned around here so now we are going to reduce this to 70 again the main key going to 70 so you can see so now as you can see the fire is just uh, showing little by little the background and that is the, what we want to do 
So after gotten this, let's import other helmets. Let's import everything. Then the, after importing it, we are going to lock them and hide them so that we won't be stressing ourselves if later if we need it. So let me position this. Then let apply color immediately. Gradient immediately. So we've done that. We have it locked. Then we we'll go back to our gallery. What is the remaining one? The logo. So we we use our aspect to fill and position the logo well, so we can still increase it a little bit and have it positioned here. So we have it positioned here. So which is actually okay here. So we have it lock. Or we can use our gradient to see so now that we have this then the next thing that we're going to do is to type so we're going to type go to type area so where we have a international youth compress international youth so we have youth conference so we have this then uh, we click ok and select the background we want to use so the background i want to use is just chunk five so i will reduce it to a minimal level then uh, i will go to the line spacing and uh, line spacing and uh, space the line before that let align it to the center so we can increase the size a bit if we want increase the size then we we'll watch it very well to less give a space in between a little bit then uh, let it closer a bit very good so we make sure that uh, this will be around here very good to be around here so we can have this uh, particular logo being increased a little bit we can increase it a bit so it's okay like this turn on the grid to see whether it really align then have it lock again have it lock again then we can now come here and position this here now so we have this at the end of the day so the next thing we are going to do after position this you use your relative position to center it so we have another one we type present present very good so we are going to bold it a bit we are not changing the color i mean the the font so we reduce and uh, use the space we use spacing exactly like this so it has finished then we position that leave a little space so we can reduce more if needed arise exactly like this we can reduce so we we'll position to the center so after position this then we check this as well everything should be aligned so if this can be here we can turn our grid to see clearly whether we are able to do that then everything is set now the next thing to do is to we are not going there we are going here just copy then you type only ghost only ghost so let that one come under only ghost then we don't need to change the font the next thing to do is to increase the font increase the font to your own taste so after increasing the font let it close a bit exactly like this and go to alignment align to the center like this you can see we can make this one go in a little bit make it go in still remain small go in a bit So the next thing to do is to remove the color from here so we are giving it this color and we are removing the color to zero 
as you can see so now we back to our stroke we back to stroke let's use the color for that stroke so you can see the color i use for that stroke so let us zoom i want to use uh, we use something like this you can see we use something like this then uh, i'm going to copy after copy I'm, I'm going to remove that i'm going to remove the stroke the entire stroke so you can see i'm removing the stroke so let me give it a, let me give it white then after giving it white so the next thing you are going to do is to apply a texture let's see you can apply a texture to this to see how it will work so let's just apply something you understand let's see whether it will work if it doesn't work don't worry what you are going to do is to tap on empty text like this then you add it to it to form an image so after it form an image then you go back to that texture and you reapply then after you apply the texture let's see whether anything change if it doesn't change it means it doesn't work but then how can we now uh, uh, how can we close the whole part as you can see here how can we the only way that we can do that is to just uh, we'll go to we'll go to our ship we'll go to shape then we are going to merge the shape to everything to make it close as you can see so like this area has been closed so we just reduce so we close that area we copy we do the same thing to this area we copy we do the same thing to this area we are going to repeat the same process so let this one be rotated so we can move this one up a bit so that one cover so we are going to copy um put a finishing touch to the rest so bring it down so and the next one the last one is this so we are going to position that here so we have this then we copy the last one position it here so everything is right so now we can go and merge everything together including this so let's see now we can merge it after merging it we are going to merge it together with uh, the one at the bottom or we turn on our erase color now so which means we have not merge sorry we have not merge good so now let's locate the second one i don't know where it is but let's locate the second one should be this okay good so now merge it together with this then we use our erase color to, to cut it out so now this is what we have been stressing ourselves with so just to achieve this particular shape that was going to cover this particular area as you can see so we are going to put a finishing touch to that so this is the this is what why we are stressing ourselves so position it here exactly like this then the next thing we are going to do this is where we are going to borrow our mask so enable the mask click on movement and you move it to cut it out so don't cut out this area so you can cut out here then you turn on the same mask so you have it cut out exactly like this so you have something like this then you click uh, ok see you have created a loophole there so the next thing that you are going to do and that particular area 
is to now turn it to an image for you to be able to cut out the bottom part otherwise it won't cut so after turning it up like that you can now go back to the mask to reapply so you are going to do the same thing here so you see you have this then you can cut out so when you cut out then you can see the result now to make it uh, obvious then you apply white color then you can see the result very good now we haven't seen anything let's just merge the two and move it together to the bottom like this so after you move it a little bit like that now all those elements that you you hide so let's see those elements that we hide before so where are they so let's look for them okay good i've seen this one so i've seen this so we are going to reduce the size for this and it's going to be here now we apply the color fire color to it then you can see how it look now to make it uh sorry lock this so to make it uh sorry you can have this one lock as well so to make it uh, more okay so you can we can reapply that uh, effect so something like this so let it dip like that so very good so very good you can apply it that way so at the mouth here so we are going to have something being put here so we have another one here so we are going to crop it a bit then we click ok so let's rotate it to minus 3 as well so we have minus 3 so we are going to position it here as you can see then we have another right top here where we have tongues of fire tongues of fire so as you can see then we have this being reduced to a minimal size let there be spacing between all the alphabets then you bold it you don't need to change the font so you don't need to rotate this let it just come exactly like that so you can give a space a bit increase the size as well so now you can you can now centralize it so then make it closer a little bit you can increase the size if you want so now this is done so the next thing we are going to do is to have a shape like this being positioned here let there be space being positioned around this area then you have it come here exactly like this then you have another one but before you have another one just apply a color to this so that you won't bother with the color when it gets here so we have another one here as you can see we have another one here you can reduce the size a bit here you reduce the size a bit here. so now we have the two the next thing that we are going to do at this area we we'll put a date and the time so we are going to copy this so we we'll put a date so we have it come down here so let's close the size the space in between so we we'll close the space so we we move it down let it go up just to make sure that uh, you make a justification to both the left and the right so we have a time here so let that one come down here use the movement arrow to adjust it very well so 
very good so the next thing that we're going to do is to put a, a right up so we have we have uh, Sunday I mean Saturday uh, Sunday Sunday so we we'll put the Sunday here as you can see then we can have it reduce if we want so we have a Sunday then we are going to copy the same thing and type uh, at the where at JJC at JJC forest you can see so we put that here so you can see then you make it close a bit very good let your be a space a little bit very good so we can have this being reduced a bit but it's okay so the next thing that we're going to do is to put uh, the date and the time so we have something like this we have seven seven dot let's say zero seven dot zero five dot uh, 2022 so we are going to apply let's look at this font first i think this is okay so we we'll reduce this and we have it being positioned here very good so we can increase the size if we want so it's okay like this then we are going to copy and edit so nine i think zero zero am so we have this we are going to position this here as you can see or we position it sorry we we'll position it here very good very good so now that we have this the next thing that we're going to do is to i want to create a space how can i do that so i'm going to just let me show you i want to create a space at the bottom so how to do that i want to match shift everything at once so just mark everything as see if you want to merge then click on the button here click on movement so you can move it you see everything at once everything for you to create a space at the bottom so you can see then you click mark so now you can you can copy so you can go to shape and then you have this so you you reduce the size a bit and you position it like this so let there be space and after you do this the nice thing to do is to apply the gradient that we have been using but you have to adjust this now so we apply the same gradient while we make it like this so very good or we turn it like this very good so we click ok so now we put that we put the number there where we have contact contact so we have 0703466 so we click ok then we go to the font we need to change the font to league or oh, we change it to league is okay let's spatter then we have it being positioned here we'll go to the space in between the alphabet or we just do that and we go to relative position to position to the center so as you can see we are able to achieve this very very simple very simple this is just a com church conference uh, flyer that you can never even imagine achieving on your android smartphone so we actually achieved that and it's very very simple to do you just need to take your time to get it so only those those who are using here and were able to got it so how I, I believe we all learned something today so if you are able to learn something don't forget to reproduce so we have something missing here which we are going to fill that is uh, 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 a jab. 
so we have only goes jabbed so we have something to type and fill here so we have jabbed only goes jabbed so we have a font to we just correct reduce the size then uh, we are going to use the a vertical a vertical font a vertical vertical font yeah very good then we use any of this so we are going to give it a black color black color and we have to position it here so use your movement arrow so go to rotation sorry go to rotation and rotate minus three minus three very good then space space it a bit use the movement arrow to adjust the final part so very good everything is actually complete so this one let me change it to that same font to make it look professional i want a font that will sit down so let's look at this it should be okay very good so we don't need to adjust this and this is perfect but uh, i want to see whether i can see a vertical that is not as bold as this a vertical so let's look at the one that i know as bold i've seen one and i think this is okay so centralize it again so very good very good i believe we'll learn something from here so thank for watching may god bless us so reposition and uh, bring it down bring it down and have everything being saved so thank for watching don't forget to your dimension to be ultra and your format to be jpg uh thank for uh, png sorry thank for watching god bless thanks for watching